So in the last episode, we just added in some beautiful Siberian tigers and look at the coloring of them both. I just, I absolutely love them. They're probably my favorite animal I think we've got in the zoo so far. Um, and for this episode, I thought we'd maybe take a step back over to our Africa section and, and kind of develop this area a little bit and maybe add in some monkeys. So I had a little look and there are some bonobos that are available currently that are about to go off the market. So I think I might just grab these um, before they do. I want to just check out how long bonobos live to know how old the ones are that we're going to be getting. Okay, so they live to 40. So these are definitely a reasonable age to get. So I'm going to grab a few of these. These are, that's one female, two females. She's a little bit older, but she's still not too old. And then I'm assuming, let's grab this male. I don't know what group sizes they need to live in. It's up to seven males and seven females. Oh, wow. So they can, they can have multiple males and multiple females. That's brilliant. And it's three to 10. So maybe we should grab that last male as well. And now we've got four bonobos, two males, two females. Oh, we've got a few animals here. I think that they put into storage for for safe safekeeping. I'm not sure why they're in our storage. We haven't we haven't bought them. They must have been put in there because there was some incident in the habitat. So I'm going to move them into the quarantine um, along with our other animals. Oh, there's some fighting in our taper habitat because we've got too many too many tapers right so you're the young one you're the older one i'm going to release the young one into the wild 32 credits there should only be two tapers in here yes that's what we want so we're going to leave that as it is i don't think anyone else was fighting were they no oh we've had an animal die though oh i've got an african dog has passed away bless and um linda the the wild water buffalo has passed away as well so we need to get some more. I think buffalo wise, we're doing quite well, actually. I don't think we need more buffaloes necessarily. Oh, we've not got a massive herd. We could, I'll have a little look and see if we can add some more in. And then we'll have a look at the dogs as well. Let's go wild water buffalo. Ah, there aren't any wild water buffalo available at the moment, but there are some dogs that they're quite expensive, at least for females. We can have a look at getting some of the males. I just want to check out how many dogs we've got in our habitat. Uh, we've not got many. I think maybe we could do with some more. Let's let's grab some more males because um, they're not very expensive. Grab these two. Oh, let's grab let's grab these three. We've got three boys here. OK, and I'm going to grab all of those and send them to our quarantine. And we've had some vet research completed. Got the Himalayan brown bear. That's amazing. I want to check up on our on our penguins because these are normally there's quite a few elderly ones. Um, yeah, I've seen some of you saying about how you can um, you can re well. I saw it previously, but you guys were basically saying you can put them into like hospice care if you like rehome them. Never done it. Maybe we should look at that for Skipper. Ah, it costs you money. I think that's fine. We can leave them in our habitat. They've lived their whole lives here. I'm happy to just keep them until they die. Although there are a lot of them currently. And then I think we should just release some more penguins into the wild. Okay, we've got eight penguins there. Going to release for 677 credits. That seems pretty good. And we'll release another bunch as well to keep getting the numbers down. Okay, we've released quite a few there. Oh my goodness, we're about to have a baby, baby Siberian tiger. We just got these guys. They're already breeding. That's amazing. Got some quarantine passed as well. That's that's good. I can't wait to see our little tiger cubs though. Are they cubs? I think they are cubs. <laughs> I'm trying to think of the correct baby term. Oh, look at look at how beautiful they are though. The tiger. And your offspring's imminent. Oh, come on. Don't do not do that. She's about to give birth. We need to rename our tigers, actually. So if you do have name suggestions, please pop them in the comments because we haven't, we haven't renamed them yet. We're about to have like a sunset baby. This is amazing. Oh, she's lying down. <gasps> Look at you, you little, you little scamp. Look how chubby they are. Oh, there's two of them. We've got two. 
Oh my goodness, look. There's three. We've got three cubs. Three tiger cubs. That's amazing. Wow, they're so pretty. They are all orange, so the dad will be a little bit sad. <laughs> it's not passed on those genes, but they do look adorable. And hey, we're breeding Siberian tigers. How amazing is that? It's so cool. Oh, we've had our ringtailed lemurs died. Poor Jack. And then a number of the animals have passed quarantine. So I'm going to move the dolls into the doll habitat, which is over here. Then we're going to also move the, uh, what is it, Malayan taper or? Yeah, Malayan taper into the uh, buffalo and tapers habitat. Cause that's where the Malayan tapers are. And then we've got our four bonobos. Well, we've got our African dog. We're going to move into the African dog habitat. And finally, we've got our four bonobos. And we haven't got a habitat for them yet. So we need to get cracking on and building that. Oh, we're about to inbreed. We don't want to do that. Please, please stop. Please. Why? Why did you do this? Why? Okay, we're going to release the young adult into the wild. Successful breeding. Got a lot of males in here. I'm going to say we release you as well. I imagine you're all siblings. Um, so I'm going to release this male as well. There's just so many red rough lemurs in here. It's got a bit of out of control, but that's kind of the point. I mean, breeding getting out of control, That's that, that's got to at least somewhat offset the, uh, the endangered issue. Um, can't complain about having too many of them. Anyway, we'll have a look and see if we've got any more bonobos, because that would be cool if we do. Oh, we do. That aren't too expensive. So I'm going to get another female. Uh, oh, they are 19 though. Okay, 16 is not too bad. Maybe we should get another. Maybe let's get this male. And we can get 19. I mean, they live to 40, so it's not that old. Let's get another female as well. Okay, now we've got six. Six is a decent size. And they want, yeah, they want three to 10. So I think that's a pretty decent um, group size. What's a group of monkeys called? Is it troop, isn't it? Yeah, I think bonobos would be a troop. I think it's a troop. <laughs> um, I think we should also have a little staff area over here, probably. Um, we do have one up here, but if we're going to expand, let me, let me get the staff work zone up to show you. Um, I think it's Africa middle. So we've already got four habitats in here and they're all linked to this staff area. Now we could add another habitat here and link it to the same one. So we've got five, um, which I'm actually quite tempted to do. I think I will do that. I think I'm going to put the bonobos here next to this uh, kind of uh, guest facilities area because it's going to draw more guests into here as well. And also, I'm pretty sure that the bonobos are confident around humans. Yeah, they are. So they're not going to be too bothered. Um, we all need to check the barrier as well. So you can, oh wow, they can't swim then. So you, as long as you have six meter wide and two meter deep water, that's that serves as a barrier. But we're going to go with this grade three climb proof. Five meters, wow, okay. Uh, five meter habitat. And let's say we have 10 adults and five babies at one time. That would be, okay, so we're looking at kind of the 1500 meter habitat just to be safe. Um, I'm going to build out of wooden logs and I think I'm going to move these facilities so that they hit the areas we need, but aren't in the way of this habitat. Okay, that's 2,700 meters, which is definitely a good, a good size. It's it's more than we need by almost double, but I kind of like that. And I'm gonna just carry this uh, guest path along and curve it around the habitat. Okay, that's a bit better. It's a bit more straight lines now, and it's still the same size or very, very similar size. So now we do need to make it taller. 
because the whole barrier is way too short. So I'm going to select all by clicking the circle icon and then drag it up to be five meters, which is how tall we need it to be. Or just over. And then I'm going to add some climb proof on the right side of the habitat, I think, which I think is the inside the whole way around. Um, just having a look the whole way around. I think it is. Yes. So they've got these like climb proof metal areas, um, which is perfect. So this is now the right. The right height should be sufficient. I'm going to add glass panels along the sides, but not the corners. I'm going to make it one way glass because I don't see the reason to use two way glass. Even if the animals are confident, we might as well give them a bit more privacy um, and just add glass to these areas and turn it around so it's the right way around. There we go. Oh, we should also add in glass on these areas here because this is where the guests are going to be and it's going to make it a little bit less um, like dark. I don't want it to be too dark around here. I want the light to come through because I don't want it to obscure this whole area um, with the with the wooden logs. But I think this still keeps the area pretty uh, light and, and breezy. And it's I think it's quite early in the morning um on this on this day oh it's late in the evening there we go so i was gonna say the sun's not like at its max it's about to be nighttime and it's still pretty light in that area so i think that's pretty good one thing we did forget over in our siberian habitat was to add in any benches and donation bins and stuff like that so i'm gonna do that now Okay, now we've added in some bins, we should get some more donations and we can throw away rubbish properly. So we're not going to get too much litter over there. I do want to check up on how our staff are doing. I'm going to train everyone up again. Um, but I think we've got quite a high workload on the Africa middle section. And that's before we add in um, this, this new habitat to it. So I think we could probably do with another keeper over on the Africa middle section. I'm going to add in one keeper here and then assign them. They're currently on no work zone. I'm going to assign them to Africa middle. And then we've also got zoos got high workload. Oh yeah. Okay. The ones that are assigned to kind of be utility, like flexible uh, keepers have also got quite a high workload. Oh my goodness. No dangerous fighting. Motomoto is fighting with one of his kids again. Oh no. Fighting with a female. Is that because there's too many? There's just too many in here now. Wow. Okay. So everyone's grown up. So you're a young adult. We need to release you to the wild. 300 credits. It's amazing. And then we've got loads of females. Okay. So I think it was supposed to be one male to three females. Maybe that will stop the, uh, the fighting now. Oh, please don't say she died. No. Oh my goodness. That was so scary. Okay. We're calling the vet. Stop fighting, Motomoto. Stop it. And we're fighting for alpha status. Why is everyone kicking off now? Like, why is everyone fighting with each other for no reason? Right, we're going to release you to the wild, Bill's son. So you don't start fighting your dad for no reason. Just because you want to be top dog. Now it's just Bill and the females. That's what we want. We have lost another one of our old penguins, which is kind of a good thing, really, at this point. And we've passed quarantine on a couple of our dogs. So I'm going to send the two dogs into the African wild dog habitat. And then we can also move our bonobos across now. So let's grab them too. One, two, three, four. Oh, we didn't put the others in. Okay, I'm going to add them into quarantine first. Send you, send you to quarantine. But while we wait for those two to be added, let's add these four bonobos into the habitat. Um, that we've just built, Habitat 56. And we're going to call this Bonobo. It's not Habitat 56, but Bonobo. Or Bonobo. I don't actually know how to pronounce it. Am I pronouncing it right? <laughs> I feel like I'm probably not. But I think Bonobo is correct. So I'm just going to go with that for now. Okay, I've just tweaked the notification settings. So we should now only get high priority alerts because they were just flooding through. Oh, we've got offspring expected. I'm assuming that's high priority. 
Um, that counts for me. That's fine. As long as I, it's just when they were constantly like popping up like, oh, these this animal was mature. And it's like, yeah, I know we have about 500 penguins. <laughs> They're maturing all the time. It's not that big a deal. And we've just had our first bonobo arrive in the habitat. Look at them. Wow, they look so weird. <laughs> I think they're supposed to be, like, the next most intelligent animal, I believe, to humans. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure they're in the Stone Age currently. Like, they use tools, uh, stone tools, which is awesome. Um, and they're highly intelligent if they're not the next most intelligent to humans. Um, which is really cool to have them in the habitat. And the fact they're endangered is obviously a sign that we need to be taking better care of them generally. Now, we do need to add them into a work zone, which is why it keeps freaking out. I'm going to put them in Africa middle, um, which is going to get a bit full. But we added in that extra keeper to try and help out. And I'm also going to add into the work, the uh, zoo work zone. So that should be everything. Everyone should be able to reach the animals now. OK, the, the last two have passed quarantine as well, which is great. So I'm going to move them across into Bonobo 2. And now we need to have a look at the terrain that these guys need. Okay, so they do need climbing. Um, we're obviously going to put that in in a bit, but they need less long grass and more soil. And in fact, it looks like they want mostly soil. So I'm going to get on painting some soil in here. Okay, that looks pretty good to me. There's mostly soil area with some grass around the sides, but I've made it kind of short grass. Now, we do need some hard shelter and some climbing, and I'm going to do the same thing I've been doing before, where I incorporate the, cli the, uh, the hard shelter into the climbing systems so that they kind of get them at the same time. Um, I just want to check that everything else is fine for them. Obviously, their social group isn't good at the minute because they're missing members of the, uh, of the troop, but I think probably it's a good time to add in some climbing, and uh, that should sort out a lot of their needs. Okay, I've just added in some climbing and some water for them, and I've put in a couple of bits of enrichment. I think we should have a few more, though. So I'm going to add an, a block of ice in. I think we should have some frozen fruit on this side as well. So they've got, like, a couple of bits of food enrichment on either side. But it's a nice big forage box over here for them, which uh, I love. I love the forage boxes, and I can't wait to see them sit down and eat from the forage box. And maybe we should have another one on this side, like a the fixed roller feeder, so that the guests might come and watch them through the... Uh, through the guest area and um, we've also got the tree forager so maybe we'll add that in here and then there's basically on all four sides of the habitat there's some kind of food enrichment that they might go and and enjoy and the guests can watch them enjoying it as well i'm gonna grab ball for a toy i don't know whether climbing enrichment counts as like their toy enrichment um no it doesn't so we need a few more toys for them we've got a cardboard box which i normally don't like adding in but in the absence of other stuff i think i will put that in for them 
um, and I do know that they normally love it. Like animals love cardboard boxes in a way that I can't understand. Though I think children do as well. So <laughs> I think we'll just leave it there with that. Um, we do need some bedding as well. So I'm going to put some bedding in this nice big area for them. There we go, we've added in quite a lot of, uh, of bedding there, so they should be happy with that. Um, I've just seen though that Motomoto is about to die of old age. Our old boy. Oh, it says he's died, so he's about to keel over now. Oh, there he goes, mate. Motomoto! Oh, well you will be missed. You're one of our one of our best animals and you've served us so well. He's had so many babies. Yeah, I mean he's fought with some some people in the habitat as well, but he's had so many babies. Um, we do need a new male though. Poor Gloria is gonna be devastated. Oh, there's overcrowding in the bear habitat as well. Okay, let's just get this. Let's get another pygmy hippo and then we can sort out what's going on with the bears. Okay, we've only got females, so I'm gonna leave that for now. We'll get a new male soon. Um, the bears though, we do need to sort out. I think it's probably because, yeah. Peanut's infertile from her age now. Oh, that's a shame. But their baby girl has grown up. So we need to release her into the wild. 96 credits, that's, that's not too bad. I think I was disappointed before with the bears that I kind of thought it would be more than that, but it's not really. Um, Peanut's elderly, but that's okay. We can keep Peanut. I like keeping them until they um, until they pass away because otherwise it feels like we're just using them. And I know it's a breeding program, but it's also kind of like a safe place for them, like a safe haven. So I want to keep it that way. Now, this habitat looks very brown, <laughs> especially when you look at it from the sky. It just looks like a brown patch. Uh, with all this wood and all this soil, which isn't a bad thing because the bonobos love it, but they are missing out on their nature. Um, they've got sufficient everything else though. We've got a little water area for them. They've got enough climbing area. They're more than happy with the climbing area. And they've got a lot of space generally. So that's, that's actually perfect for them. I'm really happy with that. But they do need some plants. <laughs> so I think I might add in the nature now. So we need to look at what they need. Um, that's what the Siberian tigers needed. They just need tropical stuff from Africa. So I'm going to take out all the rest of it. Let's go um, Africa tropical. And these are everything we're going to be using. So I'm just going to play around with them now and see what we can come up with. Okay, I think that's probably enough nature. Look at all of that, that's insane, I love it. I just kept adding and adding and adding and I'm quite happy with the result. They got 69% on, uh, on nature, which is loads. And uh, it's all, it just, I just love the, the tropical kind of um, like vibe you get when it's all these really tall trees, like this massive like tree canopy that you have. Oh, I love it. Um, so I'm really happy with that. I'm gonna, oh wow, well, look at them. Look at them down here, just playing around. 
That's an amazing view for the guests, isn't it? Like, can you imagine seeing them like this, just walking around? They're right there. Look at them, they just play in. Oh, they're grooming. Oh, they're so adorable. Oh, that's so cute. And look, the guests are literally right here. That's the guest view. Look at them, they can see them. The kid's pointing at them playing with a grab ball. How adorable is that? They've got a little grab ball and a big yawn. Oh, I love it. Oh, and one of them's getting adventurous over here on the rocks. I thought if I put the rocks in at a reasonable height, they'd be able to jump all over them. Oh, one thing I do need to check, I'm just going to pause the game, um, is that none of them can escape now that I've added in like rocks and things which change the, uh, the elevations. I'm going to click play. I don't think any of them can. No, so they can't escape, which is perfect. That's exactly what we want. Um, shockingly, that's exactly what we want. <laughs> want them to be nice and safe on the inside. And um, we've got, we bred an exhibit animal. That's great. I'm um, having to queue to use which keeper hut. So the one over here. Hmm, okay. Which one is, which work zone are you in? Because I was wondering whether that was the, uh, the reason that the lemurs aren't doing so well. So what's... Ah, uh, so you guys use that one. That's the facilities, sorry. So the Africa, just straight up Africa entrance. Only you guys are using this. I don't think Africa Middle are using it. Oh, that's Asia Middle. I don't think Africa Middle, wherever you've gone. No, they're just using this one over here. So it shouldn't be. It shouldn't be a problem. Um, it's more that perhaps there's too many penguins in here again. Um, there are always a lot of penguins in here, and they are they are dying though. Some of them. I might just release a few while we're while we're here. Let's just grab a few of them and just release these. There's five there. Release for 300 credits. That's does some. I think we'll just keep going back and just releasing small batches of like five or eight of them at a time, <laughs> and uh, and yeah, and hopefully it'll kind of resolve itself that way. But for now, these guys are so cute in their habitat. It's just fun to have a little look at them walking around. Uh, we do need to add in some education and donation bins and things. So I'm going to do that now quickly. I'm um, just adding in some donation bins, some recycling bins and some benches. Okay, so we've added in the donation bins, the benches, and the recycling bins. Now we just need to add in a little bit of education in the form of habitat education boards and uh, an education talk. I think our educator may not be able to throw food in because the walls are quite high, so they'd have to kind of throw it up pretty high. Um, but I'm just going to add that into both the zoo work zone and into the other work zone, the Africa middle work zone, and add the solar panel we added into the zoo work zone too. Now we've got a pangolin about to inbreed. I think that's because our new baby is, oh, she's really good actually. Um, I was going to say she's she's the baby of this male here. Perhaps it's time that we got rid of the male because she's young as well. Um, let, oh, we can't release him into the wild, so we must have bought him. So we're going to release her into the wild. 37 credits. That's pretty good. And then we need to get some more Chinese pangolins because otherwise our poor, our poor boy is going to be lonely. So let's get another female here. I think they're supposed to be in groups of three, though, which concerns me a bit because he's going to be on his own. Although they were just two already. Um, and we don't want more than one male if it's one male. Let's just have a quick look at what the Chinese pangolins are supposed to have. They're supposed to have uh, up to three males, up to three females. Oh, okay, so they don't really mind. So let's let's get another, let's get a male as well. Um, and then at least they're not going to be on their own. Um, five years, let's get the three-year-old one. And then send them to the zoo as well. Okay, so they're both going to go to quarantine. They'll be in the habitat soon. And then 
once they're once they're in, they can they can start breeding again. Although it's only gonna be one female, but you know, it, it's better that they have friends than that than they're lonely because that would be horrible. I wouldn't want them to be lonely. Annoyingly, without putting more like power into this section, um, guests can't can't put any display boards in for guests to show them what animal this is. But it's, I think it's still cool that they can have their lunch and they can still watch the bonobos in their like tower in in their bonobo palace <laughs> that we built them. So I think that's pretty cool. Now our bonobos are quite settled in here. I think I'm going to call the episode there. If you have liked the episode, please do give it a like. It really helps the channel out and I'll see you in the next one.